What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm just going to talk about a few very important vocabulary terms that a lot of you have been questioning me about because you don't know what it means or you're confused about something. So, in particular, we're going to talk about bus, insert, ascend, and ox, uh, pre-fader and post-fader. So, let's go ahead and start with uh, send and insert. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab a MIDI file from the Drenched by Design MIDI kit. Looks like this. All right, so I filtered it out a little bit. Um, I like the ID8 filtered, but let's go ahead and talk about what a insert is. So an insert is a sound that you want to affect the entire signal of whatever sound, it, your, whatever your sound is. So an insert, for example, would be a compressor, a gate, or uh, let's see, for example, an insert would be something like an effect like halftime or shaper box gross beat anything like that would be considered an insert because you want it to affect the entire center entire signal sorry so uh even a distortion could be an insert you if in the case that you wanted to affect only a portion of the signal then you would use a send so certain types of effects can be used both ways for example, a compressor can be used as an insert if you wanted to infect the entire signal of a vocal, but you can also use it as a send in parallel compression if you want to blend it in with the original dry sound without the effect. So this is an insert. Let's go ahead and use halftime. This would be considered an insert because it's affecting the entire signal. All right, and then a better example would even be if I want to distort this entire signal, then I could use a soft tube saturation knob. Alright, so that is an insert. Now, if I want to use a send, then that means I'm going to send a portion of that signal from the effect and blend it back in with my original sound. So I have reverb set up right here already, but if you want to set something up, you just right click in this send area over here. It says effects return um, in the little menu, but this is the send area right here. So you're going to right click, create send effect and then you're going to choose what you want to send. So let's go ahead and pick another reverb. MK2 reverb. And uh, we could go ahead and find whatever preset we want or we can make our own reverb as we please. So I'm going to pick a just a quick preset. If I could uh, remember where it's located, I haven't used this reverb in so long. All right, skip that for the sake of time. It already has a, we'll just go with the default preset. So we are using this IEA here. So this is the reverb that I just created. So that's a send because we only want to send a portion of the reverb. And we also want to use a send in the case where we want to send that reverb to multiple different signals. So if I have two pianos, what key is this in? This is in. Let's just duplicate this. And I'm going to select all of it and bring it up a couple octaves. And also filter that one out. All 
all right let's say i want to send that that same reverb to two different channels gonna make these a different color so that it's easier to see i'm just gonna turn this on and i can use that same reverb instance to affect both of these pianos so if i had used an insert i could only get that reverb to affect the sound that it was inserted upon. If I use a send, then I can send it to multiple different channels. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is a bus. A bus is a collection of sounds grouped together. So this right here with this red knob, this is a bus. So right now I have one sound going to it, but it isn't officially a bus until there are two sounds. So let's select this second piano and route this to the same bus. Now, both of these sounds will come out of this mix channel here. That's what a bus is. And in the purpose of a bus, we can use one insert effect or one send effect, whatever the case may be. We can affect both of these channels that we have routed into the bus simultaneously. So if I want to put, this is the melody bus here, if I want to put let's say shaper box on this it'll it will affect both of the signals because they're both being routed into this bus so let's go ahead and choose reverse all right so hopefully that that is a good uh, explanation of what a bus is a send effect and an insert um, another thing I would like to say about send effects is they are often time-based effects like delay or reverb. And um, like I said, if you want to affect multiple signals with that same instance of that effect, you would use a send. Many times, most times, reverb takes up a ton of CPU or DSP and you want to limit the usage of that so you use one reverb instance or whatever VST rack extension you may have. All right, the last thing I will talk about is pulse fader and pre fader. So pulse fader means it will affect the level of the send when you touch this knob. So let's go ahead and solo this here. So I talked about this in the sends video uh, when I talked about it's in the mixer series. I'll go ahead and drop the video or throw the video up above. So right now it's automatically post, but if I hit this pre button, it means that once I change the volume here of this fader, it won't affect the level of the send. So when I turn it down, we still hear the reverb, but when post is selected, this fader also affects the volume of the send. Pre-fader. Post-fader. One last thing I would like to talk about is an aux. An aux is a send, basically. It's the same thing. They're used interchangeably. Um, anytime you hear someone say an aux, aux send or in aux bus it's it's a send so keep that in mind when you hear those words um uh, one last thing is uh the returns so the return is the send coming back into the signal so when you send your signal out to a reverb it is then returned back so without the send here this piano we're gonna send the signal to a reverb right we're sending it and then this volume here is going to affect how much is returned back into the the signal flow so that's the difference between send and return send is what's being sent out to the uh external effect processor 
and return is what's being returned back into the signal flow. And in this case, it's the reverb that we're blending in with our original signal. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. I know that wasn't the most straightforward and structured explanation, but even though I know what it is, sometimes it is also hard for me to explain. So kick back, cook up, let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture.